Good afternoon. I'm Kimberly Griggs, Superintendent of Chester Community Unit High School, District 139. Welcome to Chester High School for the 137th graduation ceremony. It is wonderful to see you here, and I would like to thank all the family members and friends, as well as our board members, administration, teachers, staff, and members of the class of 2023. Today is a great occasion when we celebrate you. This room is packed with family and friends, and every person here is proud of you and your accomplishments. It has been a pleasure to share this senior year with you. Class of 2023, please take this moment to reflect and take pride in your accomplishments individually and as a class. While it's undoubtedly true, you, have made, you may have shared some struggles, but reflect on how you've overcome them. We all salute your success. Today, watching you come in with your families, watching you straighten your caps and gowns, I saw smiles and hugs and enthusiasm for what you've accomplished. I want to challenge you to take that enthusiasm that surrounds you today into the world and use it to obtain your goals. As you go forward, don't forget your friends that you've made and those that you will make along the way. True friendship is a treasure. Continue to care. Care about yourself, your family, your friends, and wherever the next chapter of life takes you, make sure that the journey includes joy. To the class of 2023, I wish you luck as you go on your way, and I trust you will make the most of the opportunities that have been given to you. And I am confident that you will find success and happiness. Congratulations to all of you, class of 2023. Good afternoon. I am Jeremy Blunty, Principal of Chester High School. Thank you all for spending this time with us celebrating the class of 2023. Before we present the class of 2023, I'd like to start by introducing you to some important individuals who worked hard to provide a quality education for our students every year. Please stand as I introduce you. Members of the Board of Education in attendance today, Mr. Charles Fricky, Mrs. Nikki Malley, Mr. Trent Vasquez, and any other board member in the audience, please stand. The members of administration at Chester High School, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Robin Barton, Curriculum Director, Ms. Shirley Stegman. <laughs> the following group worked directly with the students daily, sharing their struggles and achievements, offering support and guidance along the way. At this time, all of our teachers and support staff of Chester High School, whether you are in the chairs to my left and right or sitting in the crowd, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Many teachers play a role in molding you into the individuals Come. Let's take a moment now to recognize those teachers that raised you and support you, your parents. Parents and guardians of the class of 2023, please stand. Students, take a moment now to recognize Students, take a moment to now recognize your parents, 
and guardians, recognize the balls, students. <laughs> parents, grandparents, other members of your family, leaders of the community, and our alumni have played a played a big part in helping you grow. I now have the privilege of recognizing a few important student groups. These groups involve multiple students. So if you would, please hold your applause until the final student is called. First, we will recognize today's marshals and ushers, the top 10 juniors from the class of 2024. They are selected based upon their fifth semester cumulative grade point average. Students, please stand when I call your name. Jordan Buskell, Garrett Hopkins, Lucas Thompson, Mary Winkler. Please recognize our junior marshals. You can be seated. Uh, the next set of students are ushers, Scott Brown. Emma Disney, Chase Gilbert, Haley Hoskin, Hannah Kempe, Riley McDonough, and Casey Trost. Next, I'd like to recognize the top 10 seniors of the class of 2023. This ranking is based upon their cumulative grade point average. They will be recognized in alphabetical order. Students, please stand as I call your name. Chelsea Aldis, Anna Colas, Trace Kirky, Jacob Handel, Harrington Malley, Reese McCormick, Riley Miles, William Short, Michaela Strait, and Julia Beats. Now I'd like to recognize the senior members of the National Honor Society. Students, please stand as I call your name. Chelsea Aldis, Woo! Sydney Collins, Hannah Colvis, Emma Eggemeyer, Trace Sprinky, Savannah Gieber, Jacob Handel, Cameron Howie, Kobe Johnny, Carrington Malley, Reese McCormick, Riley Miles, Michaela Strait, Paige Thomas, and Paige Baskin. At this time, I'd like to invite Chester High School math teacher, Mr. Dwight Lawhead, to the podium to introduce this year's salutatorium. Good afternoon. Many of the speakers will discuss how much these young people have changed in four years. And to a large degree, that's very true. But what strikes me about today's spring is that the core of who he was when I first met him hasn't changed at all. Certainly, he looks quite a bit different. He knows a lot of things that he didn't know when I first met him. But deep down inside, he has had a constant sense of who he was the whole time. While Trace's life is defined by the choices we have all seen him make over the years, it is also the example he sets. And he demonstrates leadership and positive guidance to his classmates and fellow students. Trace has set an example that not many other students could follow, but all were impacted by. Excelling in the areas of athletics and academics is something that Trace specialized in. In the classes I have had the privilege of teaching, many times he set the curve by, other, by which other students would be measured. He is one of those students who has great support from his family, but individually, 
He owns each of the choices he's made when faced with a challenge. I would therefore like to introduce the 2023 Chester High School Sultorium, Trace Griffin. Ladies and gentlemen of the Board of Education, Mrs. Briggs, parents, relatives, and friends. It is my honor as principal, along with the faculty of Chester High School and the Chester Community District 139, to verify that these members of the class of 2023 have satisfied the course of study established by the Chester Board of Education in the state of Illinois. They are therefore entitled to receive their high school diplomas. Junior Marshals, will you please take your places? Malia Lachey Absher. Tosa Marie Addison. Clayton Dean Scott Andrews. Chelsea Marie August. Joshua Daniel Benton. Scott Allen Bernacki II. Nicholas Shane Bigot. Sabrina Lynn Bixby. Aiden James Bledley. Maggie Elizabeth Clendenin. Brianna Nicole Coffey. Sydney Rochelle Collins. (laughs) 
Anna Sue Colvis. Jacob Lee Cotton. Connor Edward Cowan. Trayvon McQuan Dukes. Carson Todd Dunn. Isaac Nathaniel Earl. Emma Paige Hegemeyer. Trace Anthony Fricky. Clayton Earl Grammer. Malachi Thomas Greathouse. Savannah Jordan Hebert. Carly Ray Haas. Jacob Clark Handel. Gage Edward Hasemeyer. Jesse James Heath. Rose Hicks. <laughs> Jessalyn Marie Hobeck. <laughs> Landon Hornbosel. <laughs> Cameron Elizabeth Howie. Matthew Scott James. <laughs> Kobe Aiden John. <laughs> Jorge Marvin Cardenas. Curtis Leffler Jr. <laughs> Carrington Ann Malley. <laughs> Cesar and Vaughn Marquez. Layden Blake Martin. <laughs> Reese Elizabeth McCormick. <laughs> Colin Lee McDaniel. Dylan Lee McClellan.
Aubrey Lynn Medford. At this time, I'd like to invite Chester High School music teacher, Mr. Steve Colonel, to, the, to come to the stage and introduce one of our cold valedictorians for the class of 2023. Good afternoon. My name is Steve Colonel, and I am the music director here at Chester High School. 
It is my distinct privilege to introduce the first of the co-valedictorians to the Chester High School Class of 2023. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. John and Angie August, and her academic achievements are only eclipsed by her amazing kindness and compassion towards others. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the co-valedictorian of the Class of 2023, Miss Chelsea August.
At this time, I would like to invite Chester High School science teacher, Mrs. Evelyn Hankins, to come to the stage and introduce our final Cole Valedictorian for the class of 2023. freshman year in biology one, junior year in biology two, and this year in advanced placement chemistry. Over the course of these years, I've gotten to know Brody, Brody a little bit better. Freshman year, Brody was a quiet student and didn't really talk a lot, except maybe to her boyfriend, who was also in the class. This would have been because she was new to high school, or she didn't know me since I'm not originally from Chester, or maybe for both reasons. But each sub sub subsequent year, she became more engaging. I think she became more comfortable around me, and we were evidentially, eventually able to discuss some non-school topics. Just hearing some of her stories this year about work made me laugh, but they also surprised me. As a teacher, you think you've seen or encounter all kinds of unusual situations but the episode where one of Ryan's customers tried to intimidate her so he didn't have to pay for his purchases is the one you'll have to ask her about. It was definitely odd and one Ryan can calmly and bravely. This relationship that gets established between a teacher and their student is a unique one that is beneficial to both. It enlightens us and broadens our world. When I asked Ryan what her plans are for after graduation, she told me she would be attending Southwestern Illinois College for two years and then transferring to St. Louis Community College to receive a degree in dental hygiene so she could be a dental hygienist. I thought to myself, how did Bridie decide she wanted to be a dental hygienist? It's really not a common occupation. Then I remembered a job title assignment Bridie had to complete when she took biology too. Since the career had to be science oriented, Bridie picked orthodontistry. At the end of the presentation, when asked if she was interested in becoming an orthodontist, she replied, and I am quoting from her presentation, it consists of putting braces on and taking braces off. Well, this is completely what I ex was expecting. It was even more eventless than I thought it would be. <laughs> I am very interested in dentistry, though. I am glad that that job chatter experience helped to Bridie. Decide what you wanted to do. I am going to take a little credit for your decision to go into dentistry, since I feel that I helped point you in that direction. I also want to thank you for answering the question so many students ask teachers when it comes to learning. When am I going to use this in life? You have clearly demonstrated that what you've learned today can be useful for the future, for future decisions. Your open-mindedness open is going to enable you to attain future success and happiness. Right? I know this last year together in AP Chemistry was challenging, but with your positive attitude and continued effort, you achieved success. You will encounter more obstacles in life, but you have the ability to overcome them and be victorious. In the future, as you look back on your high school career, I hope you remember all the good times and accomplishments that you achieved here. Without further ado, here is Brian Miles, one of the class of 2023's valedictorian. Congratulations, Carly, on all your hard work.
building for our very first day of high school. While that may seem like an unbelievable amount of time to be in high school, I know for me, the time has gone by. The experiences and memories we've had in the school will forever be a part of us and shape us into who we are. Here in this gym is the future. Our future nurses, lawyers, engineers, artists, teachers, police officers, and so many others. Graduation marks the end of yet another chapter in our life. Although this is the end of one chapter, it is only the beginning of the rest of our life. I once again would like to thank everyone here today for their love, support, and guidance. We couldn't have done it without you. Congratulations to my fellow graduates and to the class of 2023. Finally, I'd like to recognize the senior class president, Emmett Egemeyer. Please take your position and lead your class in the ceremonial movie of the tassel from right to left.